Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what to do at the beginning of the game. So when you first start out, I want you to move up a center pawn. So I'm talking about the E2 pawn or the D2 pawn. And I want you to move it up two spaces. And you might ask, why should we move it up two spaces? First of all, it does two things. If you do this, you get a pawn in the center. And that's really, really important because you want to control the center. The other reason why is because you gain space and it also opens up lines for this bishop, right? So again, if you move it up this pawn, then this bishop can get out too. So at the beginning, I want you to move this pawn the E2 pawn or the D4 pawn two spaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's say your opponent um, moves the pawn to E5. What do we do now? The next thing I want you to do is to get the knights and bishops out. So we're gonna go ahead and move the knights before bishop. So we're gonna go ahead and move the knight over to F3. Also notice knight to C3, that would also be good two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move the knight over to f3. So this is a really good move because again, as I told you before, you want to control the center and this knight is doing a really good job doing that. As um, as uh, we, I'll, I'll just give you another thing. If you move the knight on the edge, the knight is going to be really sad because the knight is on the edge. The knight cannot control a lot of the squares on the edge. So that's why when you get the knights and bishops out, you want to move the knight toward the center so the knight can control a lot more squares. I hope that this is making sense. And if you like watching my videos, I consider I, I hope you can consider um, subscribing to my channel. Okay, so knights and bishops out. So let's say that the knight goes here. What do we do now? We're going to continue to get the other knight out. Of course, we move it toward the center, not on the side. We want the knight to control the center. Really, really important. Okay, so um, let's say that um, black moves here. What do we do now? We're going to continue to... Now we, we, now we got to get this bishop out. Let's move this bishop over here or here. Um, we want this bishop to attack something. Also notice, um, do not move the bishop to d3. And the reason why we're, um, we're not going to do that is because this pawn cannot get out. So when you move the bishop, move it to c4 or c5. So I'm going to go ahead and move the bishop um, to c4. Okay, so let's say um, your opponent moves b7. What do we do now? We're going to go ahead and move this pawn up to d3. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we got to get this bishop out. So let's go ahead and do this. Look, when we move the pawn to d3, this bishop can get out. So that's good. Okay, let's say that the um, knight goes here. Then we can move this bishop out. So again, um, we can move this bishop here. A little bit on the passive side. I think bishop to e3, I think that's okay. Bishop to f4 is not good because the pawn can just take our bishop. And we can also go bishop to g5. I think this would be good. Notice the bishop is pinning the knight to the queen. Okay, let's say that um, black moves the bishop to e7. And what do we do now to get, after we get the knights and bishops out, we went to castle. Castling is really, really important because it keeps the king safe. The king is on the side of the board and these pawns protect the king. That's why we want to castle. Notice that we can also castle queen side but if we want to do that, then we want to move this queen out. So let's say that um, black decides to castle. Now we can castle queen side too. And again, we want to castle because the king um, is on the side of the board. These pawns um, protect the king. I think most of the time people will castle king side um, because 
Um, you just need to get the knight and the bishop out. If you want the castle queen side, you have to get the knight and bishop and also the queen. Um, but it doesn't, I think, yeah, so again, yeah, most people castle king side. I'm going to castle queen side, but that's a, that's perfectly fine. Let me know what you thought about this video by commenting below. And if you like watching my videos, I invite you to go to buymeacoffee.com slash chessbylauren. And I invite you to be a channel supporter. There's um, a couple memberships that you can join. The first membership is Pawn Membership. It's $5 a month. I will probably mention your name as a supporter on my YouTube channel. If you go to Night Membership, um, that's $25 per month. And you will also be mentioned on my YouTube channel. And you will also be invited to my monthly online chess class. Very exciting. I also have a bishop membership that's for $50 per month. And I will mention your name as a supporter on my YouTube channel. You can also attend my 40 minute online chess class that meets once a month. And I will send you a signed copy of one of my books that I've written. So I have, um, I have written 50 poison pieces and I've also written Queen for a Day, The Girl's Guide to Chess Mastery and both of these books are endorsed by chess masters which is really exciting because all, um, all the work that I do is high quality. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and if you have any um, um, suggestions for my next video, please comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video and um, again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.